London Experience is our spring break study abroad program that's sponsored by Mike Trail College of Business. It's our 20th year this year that we have taken a trip um, and it's designed to expose students to international life to give them a deep and rich cultural experience. Um, but it's also user friendly, if you will, because London, of course, is English speaking. Um, all the signs are familiar to most of the folks and yet there's a very diverse population in London. Uh, but the real purpose is to expose folks to international business as it occurs in the City of London and we focus specifically on the financial services sector because London is probably the world's center for international financial services and there's a, a deep history behind that uh, so we try to uh, give the students some exposure, not only that history, but what's happening today uh, in terms of international finance. I believe we've had some phenomenal exposure uh, there in London. We've uh, been at Financial Times, uh, the, the Monday morning after the 08 financial crisis began. Uh, we do Jaguar every year. Uh, we see uh, some of the, one of the most uh, one of the fanciest cars in the world produce bumper to bumper. Uh, we do Bank of England every year. We go to Lloyd's of London. Um, we've had a variety of different companies to host us. Uh, and we, we always try to focus as much as possible on financial services. Me being an accounting major, you know, it was a great opportunity to see how industry is run over there and not just the business part of it, but also the historic part. and. Um, you know, it's, it's great sights that I never thought I would be able to see and have that opportunity being the first one in my family to go uh, to college. Lloyd's of London is always a huge uh, impact on students. It's an incredible building architecturally. It's, it's won many awards there, but Lloyd's is really the epicenter of the international insurance industry. It's not a company per se, uh, more than it is a market with, uh, with a four or five hundred year history around Lloyd's and we hear the whole thing. They, they spend an hour to two hours with us um, and so that's uh, always a very rich experience. I think um, also the, the trip up to Jaguar is, is a great day for students. Um, they always enjoy seeing all the manufacturing aspects. I have a hard time relating that to financial services but I say go to London make your money and then go to Birmingham to buy your car. Right? But on the way back, uh, we stop at Stratford and Avon. We see, we tour Shakespeare's home that he actually grew up in. Uh, we see the theater where he conducted his plays there in Stratford, and and uh, then we go by his gravesite, um, and that's a pretty interesting cultural experience. Uh, we go to the uh, the Royal Palace in, in London, of course, and see many of the sites in downtown London, and then we'll go to the Queen's Castle up in Windsor. That's, uh, uh, students usually have a, uh, a pretty wow experience there as well. This particular study abroad is a uh, unique differentiator because of its focus on financial services. Of course, they have, a, they have a project when they get back, but to be in the heart of an industry that's the world's leading center for that industry and, and meet uh, people in real companies and get that kind of deep exposure um, is, is a huge advantage for them, really, especially in the way they choose to cast it on their, on their vita. You'll never um, have the opportunity to be with your peers at this age in such an interesting, fun, uh, unique environment. We've had students that have gone back there to get married. We've had students who have gone back there for their honeymoon. We have had a number of students who have gotten married from being on the trip together. And uh, so there must be something magic about it, right? <laughs>